Hello and welcome to State of Events. I'm Colin Ligren. And I'm Stephanie Nguyen. Thanks for tuning in. Our top story. During our college years, the library becomes an integral part of our education. There are times, however, that finding just the right book becomes a major undertaking. The new library at SFSU will feature a robotic device to ease this problem. Angela Garcia joins us in the studio with the story. Angela? Thanks, Stephanie. Students at SF State are well aware of the construction on the J. Paul Leonard Library. What some students might not know is the new library retrieval system makes it easier than ever to find books. This might look like a scene from a sci-fi movie, but it's SF State's new robotic book retrieval system, also known as LRS. While the robot saves students time and space, some are hesitant about a robot taking over their ability to browse. When you're going to the library, you should be able to browse through the books and because you don't necessarily know what you're looking for. The idea of having a robot do all the work for you takes that like, personal touch out of the experience. The LRS does not do all the work for students. After it receives an order, the book's bin is taken from the stacks. A library patron retrieves the book based on its individual call number. Head librarian Deborah Masters says students have no reason to doubt the machine's durability. It's up 99.9% .9 of the time. And when it's down for some reason, which is typically an electrical power outage actually, it's maybe 15 minutes before it gets back up. Not all books will be stored in the LRS. Some collections will be left in open shelves. The LRS system holds approximately one million books and is already in use to retrieve online orders. The system will continue to convenience students when the J. Paul Leonard Library reopens its doors in 2012. In San Francisco, reporting for State of Events, Angela Garcia.